All right, whatever. Yeah. You can still be someone's dad with they them pronouns. Uh, dad sure. is a state of being, yes. not a gender. And yes, Moru does use they. Okay, cool. Also, apparently, sunfish is our dad. I guess. Sunfish is our. Okay, got it. Yeah. Like our like collectively, like all of us. Interesting. I've never met my dad though. I've also never actually met my dad. Wild. Okay, on to the match. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so Zexy Drop. This is actually a bit of a classic, as the kiddos say. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, they go pretty back and forth. Um, I believe I'm not sure who has the most recent set, but here Trial has the most recent set at the yes. ladder. So uh, effectively, since it's the only local that matters, Trial has the most recent set. Exactly. The uh, other thing that is important to note is that generally speaking, Youngling should not lose this matchup. However, uh, Zexy likes to play aggressively, and Trial fucks with that. So uh, Zexy throws a lot. Holy shit. Trial has full hop landing nared every time. Yes. And Zexy has just not stopped started respecting it. Folks, and it here's the thing about Trial. This doesn't necessarily help you win automatically, because it hasn't helped me win automatically. But Trial does three things. Oh. Three things. Hado, uh, dash up down tilt, and landing nair. Uh, specifically a short hop nair usually. Sometimes it's full hop, but usually it's short hop nair. Um, and like, there are three good options. Don't get me wrong. Um, but he'll just be rotating between them. If you just don't want to approach him, uh, just, you know, that's fine. Just don't be obvious about your projectile usage. You're fine. Anything. Again, we saw it there. Dash up down tilt. You're toast. Yeah. And, uh, the only other thing that he'll do is that if you're going to jump over him, he will show you can you. Um, which is fine. Like, you can get hit by the DP, and if you're not at, like, 70, 80, while well, he's at 200, you're fine. High Joe right now. Um... Oh, that, that was a yeah. good spot no, dodge. So, uh, Justin Byleth was actually showing me this uh, like a month ago, I think. Um, the thing to note about uh, Young Link Upbeat is that you can actually spot dodge it just as the last hits are coming, um, and then and then do like an even more powerful option to punish it. Um, so even though it's like already unsafe on shield, you can punish it even harder, even earlier. Um, so for instance, like Slashy has done um, spot dodge F smash on uh, Zexy's upbeat out of shield, right? That's so devastating. It is. Get it? Did you know that Brawler's F smash is, is frame active one, for uh, one frame. frame? Yes. It's so pitiful. It is the only uh, Brawler fact I know, and that's probably by design. Yes. Brawlers, Brawlers love spreading propaganda about the Heather character isn't good, and then they uh, up air, up air, throw for you, and then like shake my hand. The character's pretty decent. Anyways, uh, Zexy hasn't been STIing that much. I don't know why. Not sure if he does, if he knows. I mean, he has to know. It's just a matter of like wanting to do it. Like I know that STI can uh, is good. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. I think STI is a bad mechanic. At least like because Zexy, yeah, exactly. No. Thirty-five for that. No, and he absolutely could have gotten more, but I think he was just content with what he got. I think he just kind of wanted the horizontal stage uh, control there, no, and that was a, a very easy if combo. You get, if you get Youngling to ledge, oh boy, you're having a good day. Set. Oh, he's dead there. Yeah. Boomer into forward air. <laughs> Boomer. Boomer. <laughs> Boomer. Happy Pride. All right, goodbye, Chicago. It was nice seeing you. Yeah. Um. Have I told you about how the word boomerang was once the funniest thing in the world to me for about five minutes exactly? Alright, were you- was it like- like one o'clock in the morning? No, it was... In the afternoon. So you weren't even punch drunk? No. Were you tired? Uh, probably not. Okay, so describe to me the situation where boomerang became the funniest word in the world to you. So, this was, first of all, before it became really funny to just say like, okay boomer, right? Got like, it. Before that. Um, uh, but it was when the boomer, like, Wojak thing started happening. Like, the really, like, crudely drawn old person with, like, shades on and a can of monster in his hand. Yeah. Um, so there was that. And I was just walking around D.C. for a project with a friend of mine. And out of nowhere, I, I think of the word boomerang. I, there was no thing, like, leading up to it. I just thought of the word boomerang. Your sexy just got cooked for 80 damage. And so I was... Zexy is dead! I was thinking of the word boomerang. And the first thing that popped into my head was like just a boomerang, but with an image of like that soy jack boomer on it, like just like taped onto it too, specifically, um, in a really crude fashion. And so just like, but like near like the Washington Monument, right? Um, 
I just like start bursting into laughter out of nowhere, and I just keep laughing. Like it becomes difficult to breathe after like two minutes, and everything just like sit down, like on the right, like directly onto the ground, like near like the um the, like pool there. Um, and, and no, like my friend's just like standing there, like trying to make sure that, like that no like passerby is like concerned about me and stops or anything. I was just laughing at it, and the only thing they heard me say was boomerang. Okay, so what you're telling me is you started laughing out of nowhere, and your friend was like, Guys, don't help them, <laughs> they're fine. Well, no, it's because, like, I'm prone to just, like, getting into giggle fits anyways. Um, because I just hear something, like, I just hear or, see, or think of something funny, and I'm like, I'm the funniest motherfucker on the planet. Um, no, I get that. So they're just used to Oh, that. shit. He's fine. Um, I know, but, like, is he mentally fine? Who are we referring to? Sexy. Sexy. Uh, so I was thinking of the word boomerang. Got it. Um, At the time. Yeah. And now I'm thinking about it too. It was still really fucking funny. Okay, great. <laughs> so yeah. If you could describe um, how it feels to get gimped by Ken in... Uh, why would I ever get gimped by Ken? Great. But let's say it happens. I would feel like literally the worst fucking player on the planet. And that's how that's probably how Zexy feel, felt. I mean... Yeah, probably. Maybe. We'll find out. We can ask him after the set. We can ask him right now. We could, but it would be super rude. We can ask him once the game ends. And, oh, no. No spot, spot touch. touch. Charles doing a good job of choosing when to do focus and when to do air. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. See you later, nerds. <laughs> Thank you, Maru. Thank you, Maru. <laughs> so, a boomerang, right? <laughs> um, they come from Australia, and Australians talk really fucking funny. Like, have you ever heard an Australian person speak? It's like if a British person was cool, but it's still really fucking funny, and I have to, like, I should, like, this is not a bit. I have to try really hard to not laugh when I hear a British person or Australian person talk. It's like, <laughs> they sound so fucking funny. It really does sound like a, a sitcom in a can. Exactly. <laughs> No, you're, you're totally correct there. <laughs> it's like... Oh, God. I saw a deer on my <laughs> way over here. You saw a fucking deer? What was it fucking doing? No, I was... Okay, so I'm an avid watcher of the Defunct Land YouTube channel. Okay. Because I'm autistic, so I just need to watch, like, video essays about, about things that I never cared about before. And the most recent Defunct Land video is about the Wiggles Dark Ride. Um, that's in Australia's, uh... Wonderland? All right, everyone, get on the Wiggles Dark Ride. Uh, Dream World, Dream World, that's the name. We're in the, um, we're at the Wiggles Dream World. And it's, it was called the. Oh Wiggles, shit! He uh, almost spiked his ass, but he did. Big Red Car Ride, named after the titular Big Red Car uh, that they have two songs about, and um, that they drive it. It's a big red car, which is why it's called the Big Red Car. Got it. Um, and the Wiggles. Also, there's like controversy about the Wiggles and like them like quitting and shit. It's really fucked up. Um, but they didn't quit, they just replaced some of the Wiggles. Uh, they replaced the Wiggles again, to go back to the original Wiggles, and then replaced three of the Wiggles. So now there's only one original Wiggle on the Wiggles. Uh, anyways, but like... Dude, type in chat if you're an original Wiggle. <laughs> um, but like... Uh, like, uh, you know, the clips, like, in the video, they, they used clips of like the Wiggles and of like Australian people and all that. And it's so fucking funny. Like, they're just like children's entertainers. Like teaching them about stuff, but like, they sound so fucking Australian. It's so goddamn funny. Anyway, Six is dead. See ya! I feel like you could get that a little bit better. That was a three stock and a half. I did it! <laughs> oh, shit! I'm so sorry. Um, no, yeah, when Greg got replaced with Sam, um, that was like genuinely devastating for some kids. All right, Re uh, real, real wiggles, real wiggles typing in the chat. Okay, Moira is a real wiggle head. <laughs> True wiggle head. I'm never saying that again. I'm so sorry. Oh God. <laughs> You're right. That actually is terrible. I don't care about TLing anymore. I want to be here. All right. So, so we were talking about the wiggles, and uh, Nash was talking about how uh, funny it is to uh, to hear a British person and an Australian prisoner speak. What? Like, 
Okay, this is not a bit. It is gen I, I genuinely have to like restrain laughter when I hear British or Australian people like talking. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they sound so fucking funny. So I was talking about how like, I made defunct my interview, right? Okay. I watched the Funk Land YouTube channel and um and the most recent video was about the Wiggles Dark Ride in Australia's Dream World. What? <laughs> Are you making this up? This is not a bit. You, you don't know. You like, don't know if Nash is making it up. You have to. You have to take. You have to take his word for it. So, <laughs> so like the Wiggles had a uh, a dark ride, which is a type of um uh, theme park attraction. Holy shit, Zex is dead. Have, like a really like slow moving cart so that just sort of. Is it like, like the the small world thing at Disney World? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, what an awful name, Dark Ride. That sounds like a horror. Movie. No, exactly. And some of them are, obviously. Like, um, uh, have you ever been to Disney World? Or... Of course. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Yeah. No, Small World is horrifying. Um, but it's also like, uh, like the the great movie adventure ride or whatever it's called. Right. Right. Um, I guess you could count like Star Tours as kind of one, sort of. Um, but yeah. Um, so the Wiggles had one. It's called the Big Red Car Ride. Um, Sorry. Because it's in a big red car. Okay. Because the Wiggles have a car called the Big Red Car, and it's a big red car. Um, they have two songs about it, by the way. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I was just saying that like I watched uh, the Defunct Man video of the Wiggles uh, Big Red Car Ride, uh -huh. and apparently Moru uh, also watched the Wiggles. There have been. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> and um, there have been two. Se no, so the Wiggles have changed cast members three times. Right. Um, Did they get rid of the Asian one? Yes. That's there was an Asian, Asian Wiggle. That's right. There was an Asian Wiggle. Was his name like Jeff or something? Uh, yes, oh, Jeff. Thank you. Like Tad well, or something. Um, he was really sleepy all the time. That was his only character trait. Do you think that was like racially profiling? I feel like it wasn't. I don't think like it's. A hey Jeff, why do you have your eyes closed all the time? <laughs> It's okay, he can say this, I'm Asian. I'm he sleepy! Has the he has the car, it's okay. <laughs> but like, yeah, so uh, there was the, uh, the first one was replacing the yellow wiggle, Greg Page, with Sam Moran. Okay. Um, who is Sam this. Moran? Uh, just an Australian guy. Some Australian this guy? like some awful pun name. No, but also, now he works on Nick Jr. on his own show, called, called like, Laugh and Play with the Sam wiggle. or some shit. <laughs> the Wiggle! <laughs> But then, after a while, Greg Page got into financial trouble because he made really bad investments and he like spent his money really poorly. So he kicked Sam off to go back to being a wiggle. Um, so you're saying his investment in the big red car put him in the big red? <laughs> well, there were other ones. Okay. Um, they also have a big red boat and a big red helicopter, by the way. What? Um, yeah. Uh, but then, um, like five months after that happened, which caused this huge controversy because, like, you know, it's fucked up. He, uh, like it was corporate greed uh, right. for the fucking Wiggles. Um, but then after that, uh, Greg, the, the original yellow Wiggle, Jeff, the purple Wiggle, and fuck what was his name, Murray, the uh, red Wiggle, just all just all dipped. They were like, like, like we we cannot do this anymore. Fun. It is physically harmful to our bodies. Okay. Like we are focusing on mortality because we are Wiggles. It's over. Um, we can no longer dance with a with a floppy on octopus. So it they can't stopped. Be that hard. Oh, it's like really physically taxing because they do a shitload of like live performances. Um, I see. Like live shows. Me so, personally. Got it. Um, Wait, so, I think it's Smub, right? Smub and Trial. Yes. Eric, you're on show again. Caught up with bracket. Um, So, uh, there was a woman wiggle? There is now. Um, Fruit salad goes dummy, that's true. So now there Fruit is- Fruit salad, happy pride. Yeah, so that's now what there's our Twitch a, chat is right now. Now there's a girl wiggle. Wait, wait, but, uh, scroll up, I didn't see Oolong ping me, but I didn't read the rest of it. Do you know the fruit salad song? Yes, I knew the fruit salad song. Yummy, yummy, dude. <laughs> wait, there's a Wiggles FNAF game? I'm playing that. My, my partner is actually huge into like, whoa, shit. My partner's actually like really like artistically obsessed with uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. If I tell her that there is a Wiggles FNAF game, they'll lose their shit. Yeah, set to over. 3-1. Uh, Oolong, thank you so much. So, I'm gonna go find some up. I'll be back to Rune Commentary in a minute. Cool, 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 cool. It's not bad, that's so tight. We were talking uh, earlier when the Chicago people were in here about uh, deep dish pizza. Right, I saw everyone listing everything from Chicago. Yeah, so uh, have you heard uh, Jonathan Stewart's opinion on deep dish pizza? Didn't you send me that video? Yeah, I good. love it. Yeah, it's good. He's right. This is not a pizza. 
This is a marinara swimming hole for rats. Yeah, no, he was right. I I went to Chicago a couple weeks ago, and I had deep dish pizza, and it was like good, but I wouldn't call it pizza. Did it was like go, a different experience. Did you go to the um, Korean fried chicken place right across the venue? We have them here. I don't need to go. It's called KFC. We have them everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> It was like really good. It was really good. Um, but also apparently somebody else uh, from Common Worker went to that venue and um, they thought it was white person spicy and so they like just lost their shit. The cream fried chicken is tasty though. It's That's so good. Chungman? Chungman. Ch Chungman is the goat. And oh, it's, we don't have any of those. <laughs> Deep dishes like lasagna. Yes, that's. I think that's pretty apt. Um, uh, it's worse lasagna. Yeah. Actually, like, the place I went to was pretty good because the crust was like a 